Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now look at this. Look at this. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now this is called a hound's tooth stitch because the way it turns out is like the fangs of <laughs> a teeth apparently, especially this side. It's supposed to be like the fangs of a tooth so it's called hound's tooth and it's really pretty. This was used a lot in the 60s. It's like a plaid and it's it's the black and white is so iconic. I mean I've seen jackets made with this, cardigans, skirts. It's so easy. I'm going to show you how to do this stitch. It's done in sets of three. You need a set of three stitches. Your chains to be in sets of three. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So pop these aside. Now this one's called Lemonade. This is a red heart yarn and it's called Lemonade. It tells you to use, I think it's a 5.5, but I'm going to use a 6.5. This stitch seems to work better when you use a bigger hook because it is quite a dense stitch. It's quite a thick stitch. Now if you look at this one and see what this one's like, this was done in a five and a half millimeter hook. And I did this one with the same with this yarn and this um I used this one. I used this lighter grey, but it's the same thickness as this one. I used the lighter grey, but I used a six and a half crochet hook and look how much softer it is it looks and feels a lot softer so it is quite a dense thick stitch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a chain I'm going to do my chain in sets of three so just make your slip knot the way that you would make your slip knot don't do your chain too tight and we're just going to yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, pull through, that's three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now what I'm going to tell you is with this stitch, You've always got to finish on a UK treble crochet and you'll always start on a UK double crochet. So if you're in the USA, you'll be starting on a single crochet and finishing on a treble crochet. I'm going to do a sample to show you how to do this. I'm going to zoom in. So do your chain in sets of three. So the stitches we're going to use is a UK double crochet and a treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, this is a single crochet and a double crochet. So you're going to start, you always start with your UK double crochet. I'm going into the second stitch in my chain and I'll do my double crochet. Then I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to do a treble crochet. Then I'm going to do a double crochet and a treble crochet. You're going to alternate between a double crochet and a treble crochet. So this Big stitch, little stitch, big stitch, little stitch. So we've done our big stitch as a treble crochet. We're going to do a little stitch that's a double crochet. Big stitch, little stitch. That's the way that I got it into my head to remember my stitches. So I've done a little stitch. I'm going to do a big stitch. Oops. So I'm going to do that all the way to the end. Make sure you finish on a treble 
crochet. If you have an extra stitch left, then pick it out. Finish on a treble crochet, not a double crochet. If you're in the USA, you finish on a double crochet. If you've got an extra stitch, then just pick your tail out. Pick your tail out and do away with the extra stitch. You will always start your row with a double crochet and finish on a treble crochet every single row. on a treble crochet. Now what I'm going to show you for the colour changes, pull through your two stitches, leave these two stitches on your hook, get your next colour, fit that there because we're going to keep the yellow. I'm going to put the grey over my hook and just pull it through. Keep the tail down here beside the yellow tail. Pull that a little bit tighter. That's stitching. Pull it nice and pull it tighter. You're going to chain one and turn. Now what you're going to do is do your chain one and turn your work. Now get your yellow. We're going to take the yellow with us. Keep the tails down out of the way. Keep your yellow. To save you from cutting your yarn or having big loops up the side, we're going to carry this with us along the side like this. I'm going to pop a piece of white paper here so you can see this grey a little bit better. There we go. So we're going to take this yellow yarn with us along the side like that. You're going to do your first single crochet right into that very first stitch. And when you do, make sure your yellow yarn gets caught in there. So put your hook through and make sure it's your yellow yarn is over it, like that. Catch your grey and pull it through. So I've still got my yellow. We're going to carry the yellow along. So do your double crochet. This is a UK double crochet. The next stitch you're going to do is a treble crochet. A treble crochet. So yarn over and go through. Keep that yellow there. We're going to be working that along. Do your treble crochet. Now we're going to do a double crochet. So into here, this is your big stitch from the last row. You're going to do a double crochet and then a treble crochet all the way along, bringing your yellow with you. Make sure you've not got any yellow loops. Your yellow is just going to sit behind there and you're going to be crochet, crochet it in. So UK double crochet treble crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, all the way along, carrying that yellow with you, just mix it in, just make sure you work it in, a double, a treble, so it's a big stitch and a little stitch, so we're on a double crochet, a UK double crochet, that's your small stitch, and a big stitch that's your treble crochet if you're in the USA this is a single crochet and a double crochet and this is what you get it's really worth using grey grey is a lovely neutral color to blend with bright colors so we're on a little stitch all the way along 
double crochet, treble crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, carry the yellow along with you. So you're working around that yellow and a double and a treble, a double and a treble all the way to the end and you've got to finish on a treble crochet. If you made sure you finished on a treble on the first row, you should finish on a treble on your next rows. So we're still carrying that yellow along the back and it's getting crocheted in. You can't see it at all. You just keep it down the side there. Keep it down there. So that one was a double crochet, so we're on a treble, and then a double, treble, and double, big stitch, little stitch. So we should have one double and one treble left, so one double, and put your treble in to that stitch there. We'll catch it all. There we go, we're doing a treble crochet. Now you're only going to go through the first two stitches. Now, I know you might say it's too dark to work with grey, but I really want to show you that working with grey is beautiful. So I've got two stitches on my hook. I'm going to let the grey go and bring, let the grey go to that side. Bring in my yellow and finish those two stitches with my yellow. Just tighten that up. Chain one. Make sure it's quite a loose chain. And turn my work. Turn your work. Now we're going to carry the grey with us. We're going to bring the grey round and do your first double crochet into that first stitch. So go through, make sure your grey yarn is on the top so it will get incorporated in. Pull your yarn through and do your double crochet. Carry your grey along this time. And what you get is a nice neat edge. You get a nice neat edge. You've not got any loops of colour. You don't need to cut it and stitch all your ends in. So now we're going to do a treble crochet. Then a double. We're carrying that grey along the back. The grey is there. Got my yellow out. Get some more yellow. You'll get used to this and you'll love it. You really will. You'll love using a grey yarn. So keep your grey. Keep your grey just running along like that. And you're going to crochet through the top of your stitch. And it'll catch that grey in. So hold your grey down there. So we're doing a treble crochet. And I'm just working with my yellow. Or whatever colour you want. Big stitch, little stitch. So double crochet, treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet and a double crochet. Yarn over for your UK treble. A little stitch. Big stitch. Oops, get through. Get some more of my yarn out of there. And we're still carrying that grey along. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much at the moment. But once we've got a few rows done, it's going to look beautiful. And it's so easy. It's so easy. A little stitch, big stitch, little stitch, big stitch. So that is a UK double crochet, a treble crochet, a double crochet, a treble, a double, a treble, a double, a treble. All the way along, finish on a treble crochet. 
always start your next row with a double crochet. So if you're in the USA, this is a single crochet and a double crochet, a single crochet and a double, all the way to the end. So we're doing a double, then a treble. So I'll work my way along to the end and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm on my last two stitches. So I am on a single, I'm on a double crochet and finish with a treble crochet. I'm only going to do two stitches and change my yarn. I'm going to drop my yellow and pick up my grey. Make sure it's your working grey that you pick up and not your little tails that are down here. I'm going to tie my tails together to keep them out of the way. That'll keep them out of the way. So I'm going to drop my yellow and pick up my grey. Finish that treble crochet with the grey. Chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Turn it and bring the yellow with me. And right into that very first stitch, put your hook through, make sure that your yellow's up there. Pull your yarn through. So double crochet and treble crochet all the way to the end. One double, one treble. One double, one treble. And that is it. That is how you do this beautiful stitch. And what you'll notice is you've got a bulky stitch. That was your treble. And that's what you do your double on. And then you've got this little pointy one. That's where your big stitch goes in beside your little stitch. Your little stitch goes on top of the bigger stitch. So we are on our double crochet, treble crochet. And that is what you do for as many rows as you want. Carrying your other colour along with you and it gets incorporated in. I told you this is so easy. Look at it now. Look at that. And pretty soon, as the darker greys even are so pretty, this is what it's like in the white and the black. Look at that. It's so a fully reversible again. You can have it that side, or you can have it that side. You can do any combination of colours, any colour combination that you want. And look at that. That is so pretty. That's the other side. One side you get more of your yellow and the other side you get more of the grey. And it's called a hound's tooth or a dog tooth. Some people call this a dog tooth stitch, but it's so pretty. Give it a try. It's simple. It's so easy. But like I said, it's quite a tough stitch. It's a dense, thick stitch so use a larger hook use at least a size and a half larger than your label tells you if your label tells you to use a five use a six and a half if it tells you to use a six and a half use a seven you'll need to use an eight because there's no seven and a half you need to use a eight so use a bigger hook and look what happens to it it's absolutely beautiful I'll bring this one in again. I really like this. So thank you very much for watching. Give this a try. I'll zoom down a little bit. Give it a try. It is so pretty. And that's the other grey and lemon. Look at that. Give it a try. It's beautiful. 
So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I will see you all again soon. Goodbye.